Hey, welcome to a Flare Court Media behind the scenes thing. So I was looking at Facebook this morning and the memories reminded me that apparently the last two years on January 17th, I've released a behind the scenes or what's in my camera bag, uh, how the channel performed recap type of thing. Now I'm not one to shirk tradition, so I wasn't going to release one this year because I'm working on other videos, but I decided, you know what, let's just release one each year if we can on January 17th. So, it being January 17th right now, it means I have to record this video, edit it, and get it out all in one day. Uh, so it'll be a lightly edited, quick video. Now if I recall in last year's What's in My Camera Bag video, around the end of the video I said something like, I have everything I need and don't expect to buy any camera gear in 2019. There's not a lot more I need, I got everything I need. And so my goal for 2019 is to actually use all of this stuff to its fullest. Uh, and for the most part, that was true, but there's always the tech enthusiast, you know, you just gotta have your little toys, just something to, new to play with. So I did get a couple new things, we'll go over those real fast. Um, but in terms of what I bought for the channel, uh, I did videos on most of it. It was the microphone shield, things like that. But also, last year on January 17th, I announced my goal of climbing a mountain. And uh, I did that, I went on the adventure. I, if you follow the channel, you know the outcome of that. And I recorded the whole thing and set up a nice documentary that I'm currently working on and planning to release in February of this year, 2020. So subscribe so you see when that goes out. It should be a nice, good video. There's also a really great behind the scenes video I'm working on as well that'll come out shortly after. I'm gonna record this because if I go down, I want a record. Click the bell if you want to get notified immediately when that comes out. But anyway, most of my toys and expenses and stuff like that for the channel went to camping gear. I had to fully outfit myself, almost fully, in hiking gear. And that, you know, quite a bit of money to get started. But the nice thing is, now I can just go hiking whenever I want. But let's talk about the gear real fast. Now, I also recall that at some point I said, why would anyone ever not use a camcorder for videos? And for the most part, I still believe that. If you're starting out, get a camcorder. Don't bother with the DSLR and stuff. Camcorder is still nice. That's what I'm recording on right now. It's my FDR AX53 by Sony. Still being sold three years after I bought it. Still a really great camera, shoots in 4K. Unlimited recording time. Love it, the picture's great. But there's, once you get to a certain part in your video editing life, I get it why you might want a, a mirrorless or a DSLR to record. You can just, you know, when you start experimenting with LUTs and different lenses and focal depths, and you, you just want to experiment and you want to grow into maybe more of a, per, grow your production value. So I went out and got myself, um, after I realized I was climbing a mountain, I wanted something nice to take pictures and to shoot 4K. So I got the Fuji X-T3. It's a mirrorless camera and I love this thing. Um, all of the settings are on the top on physical dials so you don't have to go through menus as much. Great camera. When this came out, everyone was raving about the video quality and performance. And I expected a lot of other YouTubers uh, when they're saying, I love this camera, I bought this with my own money. I expected more people to use it. But what I found out over the years was, over the past year was people loved it and they may still have it, but they all went back to their Panasonic GH5s and Sony. This, they went back to the stuff they already knew. Uh, even though this maybe performed better or had better features, you just go, when you're, a professional and you have to get stuff done and you have to know what things are and how things perform you just revert back to what you're familiar with uh, but I've become pretty familiar with this and I love it and I'm going to continue to use this and and grow its ecosystem the one bad thing I don't like about it in terms of video recording is you can't flip the lens around or the screen around which is why I bought the Atomos Ninja 5 the monitor, so that way I can see what's going on and record at higher bit rates. Uh, otherwise, really great camera, taking some great shots, took this up the mountain. Um, expect to see a lot more things coming from this. I also went out and got, the kit lens by the way, is uh, 18 to 55. Really great kit lens, inexpensive, totally worth it. 
But when I was going in the mountains, I'm like, I really want a wide angle, you know, small F value so I can take in some nice nighttime shots. So I went out and got the 16 millimeter. Uh, it goes F 2.8 to F 22. So F 2.8 means you get quite a lot of light in. This is a pretty inexpensive lens and it's nice and small. So you can plunk it on there. Moving on, I also, I went ahead and upgraded to the Google Pixel 4. Uh, the Pixel 3 was great. Pixel 4, I was hoping, has you know the telephoto lens, so I was hoping to get a little bit more video quality out of this. It's doing all right. I almost went with the iPhone 12 uh, because of the three lenses and some of the video stuff, along with the fact that there is some video editing features that are available on iOS that aren't available on Android, so I could edit on the go, as well as other devices um, only work with Apple products, their, their software. I almost switched. I like Android, but you know, sometimes you have to work in the ecosystem that is going to function for you. And video editing is very strong in the Mac world. Moving on, I did get married this year, which kind of took a big break in my video editing for a little bit. Went to the Dominican Republic near Punta Cana to an all-inclusive resort. Had a wonderful time. We dodged all the hurricanes, but I went snorkeling for the first time. And one thing I wish I'd known was mustaches don't work with snorkel masks and so I was just getting water up in my nose and it was terrible. Also I brought my GoPro 7 and I must have um, when I was opening it up I must have got sand into one of the seals uh, somewhere in there in these rubber gaskets. Took it in and next thing I know the whole thing shuts down and got water in it somehow. So Lost a Hero 7. I do have insurance on it. I need to send it in and get replaced. But about two weeks after it broke, they announced and released the Hero 8. So I picked that up. Quality-wise, it's, it's pretty similar. It gives you a few more tweaks and functionality. I'm looking forward to the vlogging stuff that they're going to add. They're going to add a microphone and a light. So this could be a nice little um, put it out on a stick. The final thing that I picked up was because I've been doing these 360 tutorials, the GoPro Max and the Insta360 ONE X Google Maps tutorials, picked up the GoPro Max 360 camera to see how it performed and if I could do three um, Google Maps mapping with it. And you can kind of like the GoPro Max, but you have to cut the clips down to like 15 seconds, which is ridiculous. You're not going to take a 30, a three minute, five minute video and cut down to 15 seconds. You can upload it. So I'm hoping that I can find a way to use this to do mapping. Otherwise it's, it's kind of neat. It has the screen on the front. Um, so you, again, you can vlog with it. You can see things. It does 1080p. But so that's it for camera gear. Like I said, pretty simple. Not intending to buy a whole lot more. I hope to buy, maybe buy another lens this year. We'll just see how this this takes us because I've set another goal for myself. So I, well, my mountain climbing trip last year, great time. I plan to climb. My goal is three more, maybe four more 14,000 foot peaks this year. So I intend to keep hiking and to do more camping videos and equipment videos. But I also have set myself the goal of riding the cowboy trail in Northern Nebraska. So it's a, uh, I think 170 mile trail. I'll put it up down here. Uh, it's an old train track that's been converted into a gravel bike trail. My goal is to ride that all straight through. Uh, so I'm in training for that right now. But yeah, so that'll just be another documentary type video that you can look forward to coming up this summer. And I'm going to go on the website and create a blog about that as well. Just like I did the, the mountain climbing one, I'm going to do one for this bike adventure as well. Before we move on to the future of the channel though, let's just finish up on gear real fast. The final thing that I picked up was this thing that I keep kind of showing you underneath this screen. Just imagine the screen's not here. It's the Zoom F6 field recorder. So it has six microphone inputs, it has 32-bit float recording. So that way you don't have to worry about peaking. I hate audio editing. I'm trying to get when when you can't monitor it yourself because you're talking and your voice gets loud because you get excited and then it's so hard to not peak, which is when your voice or the noise gets so loud that the microphone can't understand the difference and it gets all distorted. 
I'll try and peek real fast, but I think I have limiters on both of these, but let's try it. I'm trying to peek right now. Anyway, with 32-bit float recording in this, you can't peek. It has two different audio recorders, one that records really quiet audio and one that records the loud audio and it merges them. And so there's just no way to either, you can't record too soft and you can't record too loud. It has a USB-C out so it can go around to your computer so you can plug microphones directly into this and record into something like Adobe Audition or something like that. It also has an SD card. In terms of video performance this year, for the second time in two years, my best performing video was one I did the previous year. So in 2018, my best video was the Adobe CL versus Metal for Adobe rendering on a Mac that I'd recorded in 2017. That was my best performing in 2018. So now in 2019, my best performing video was burning a house down with firefighters at 94,000 views. I actually recorded that all the way back in 2017, didn't get released until 2018, and in 2019 is when it blew up and it's being recommended. Though I'm really surprised at the audience. Uh, when I recorded it, I was imagining seven to 10 year old kids, you know, yay, firefighters, I wanna be a firefighter when I grow up, you know, and so I, that's why we looked at the equipment so much and talked to the firefighters, look around and, and show it, show off you know, firefighting gear. But it turns out it's a lot of people who just like watching houses burn down. Um, I also get a lot of hate for that video, which is surprising. But people are like, oh, that old wood, or oh, give it to homeless. You're not gonna pay to move a house for a homeless person to live in. That's one, you know, not up to code, and you're not gonna also let someone just live 20 feet from your other house. And plus, Firefighters, they have to train somehow so they know how to come and save the buildings that actually need to be saved. They need to train on actual burning houses sometimes. And so as instead of getting mad that this house was destroyed, be happy that firefighters were able to go and train on this house for free in, so that they can come and save your house maybe someday. I was just amazed at the anger of burning an old house down. The second best video this year was the Pixel 3 Super Res Zoom, which I also recorded in 2018. Yeah, it was the end of the year, but I just wanted to see how Google's marketing, they said, oh, you can zoom in and we'll f you know, use your hand movements to figure out the sharpness. I wanted to see if it was true. A lot of these videos, my best performing videos, are me satisfying my curiosity, and so I guess that equates to the fact that other people are curious. So. I just need to trust my curiosity on what I should make videos on. And then the last one uh, is the how to add Google Street View GoPro Fusion 360. I, again, I was just curious. I'd heard you could map with a Fusion 360 camera. So I went out and tested it, thought it was cool, made a video about it. And I think it's going to lead to a kind of neat little series because I did one on the Insta360 One X. I think you can do, you can do one, I know you can do one with the Ryko Theta V, I think it is, using the Street Maps app. And so I think we'll just kind of keep looking at different ways that you can do mapping with 360 cameras and see what else we can do. Glad to see some of the camping stuff is coming up. I'm glad to see the product reviews are still on there. And one other thing that I didn't list there because it's not performing amazingly, but it performed a lot better than I thought is the Las Vegas travel vlog. I'm amazed at how that turned out. I love travel vlogs. I try to record whenever I go on an interesting trip, have a couple banked up so I can release them every so often. They take the most work and they don't get a whole lot of video views, but I'm gonna keep doing them because I love it. So if you haven't seen the Las Vegas travel vlog and are interested in kind of a travel type show, go check it out and let me know if you like it or not. But really, that's going to do it for this video. Um, in terms of this next year, I well, I just told you what I'm going to do. I'm going to, going to go on a bike ride, climb some more mountains, do more travel vlogs, do more tech videos, and uh, try and get some tutorials in there. For the website, I'm planning to do a lot more adventure blogging, which is you know the mountain climbing and the biking adventure. I plan to blog about that a lot more than last year. Last year, I was still getting my feet wet and I was afraid to put stuff out there that wasn't finished. I'm gonna have a section where it's just gonna be kind of more raw so I can get stuff out quicker 
That's the thing I ran into this year. I believe I released one, maybe two more videos than in 2018. But boy, it felt like a struggle to get them out. Getting married takes a lot of your time. But I was just constantly questioning. I was a little afraid to release some stuff. I, I record two or three videos that never make it out each year, which isn't a lot compared to some YouTubers. But when you release 28 videos, you know, two or three that don't make it out is a decent sized percentage of what you actually record. So check out flarecourtmedia.com. Going to add some more categories at the top to try and help guide you if you want to follow me on adventures because I love adventures. <laughs> and this year, I want to keep going on, on more. So if you want to participate vicariously uh, or talk about some of your own adventures, that's the place you want to go. Last thing is I do have a Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram account. Facebook and Twitter, I try to post some behind the scenes stuff. I usually just copy and paste what I had on one on the other. So if you follow me on one, you're not missing out on anything on the other one. But Instagram, I do release, uh, I've been trying to do about one photo every one or two weeks. Hopefully I can get that up to one photo every week. I have plenty of, I think they're pretty nice photos. Um, just random stuff. I like photography. If you go on my website, you see that I have a photography section saying, I like photography. I don't know what to do with it. So on Instagram, you can go there and hopefully see some nice pictures. But that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, click that thumbs up button. It helps other people find the video. And then subscribe so you see all those things I was talking about. The adventures, the travel vlogs, the tech videos, the tutorials, uh, camping videos. Go and do all of that this year. But until next time, I'm doing what I love. Keep doing what you love. Thanks for watching.